Hello and welcome to my review of the brand new Chaos Space Marines. These are the ones in the Shadow Spear box set. They're not the separate um, 10 that you'd normally buy for £35. I don't know whether Games Workshop will sell this set uh, separately, seeing as there's already an existing kit out that's much more customizable rather than this monopose kit. So that means the only way to get this unit is to uh, get it in the Shadow Spear box set, which is £105. I think they're absolutely awesome. Um, compared to the boring, boring Primaris uh, Space Marines, each one of these Chaos Space Marines is individual. Individual poses, armor, heads, weaponry, you name it. Each one of these 10 is individual and I absolutely adore that. And by the looks of it, the 10 that Games Workshop are releasing uh, on Saturday will be individual too. I've looked at as many models as I can in that set and they do look um, as individual as this kit. What I'll do is I'll go through each model individually. They were, of course, very straightforward to, to put together. Um, and then I'll do some size comparisons with all of the other Chaos models in the set. Uh, which is fantastic, I've made them all. And then we'll do a couple of uh, comparisons with some Imperial models. So let's start off uh, with the guy, front and centre, this aspiring champion. Absolutely awesome model. I mean, I can't sing these praises. The feelings I'm getting with this kit, with the Chaos um, models, very, very similar. Um, they almost mirror, um, you know, my first impressions of the Death Guard models and the Dark Imperium set. Um, and actually the Death Guard when they re were releasing the, the individual kits too. Um, but let's have a look at this Aspiring Champion. <laughs> look how awesome he is. He's got these little skulls off of his um, tabard or whatever you want to call it. Uh, he's got this big skull there on his uh, chest piece. He's got this awesome plasma pistol um, with a s added spike. He's got a chain axe. Um, he's got this screaming skull, a top knot. Um, so it's like a mini mini Abaddon kind of thing. Um, he's got uh, attention to detail. That's the holster without the pistol in it. Brilliant. Um, the power plant, big, big skulls on there. Um, incredible model and a little bit of a scenic base going on there too. So that's the aspiring champion. Um, then going to the second coolest model in the set, uh, this auto cannon guy. I mean, look how awesome he is. Massive scream, screaming skull where the um, ammo ejector is, pumping them out. You'd see that flash and it would almost look like it's screaming. That's what they that's what they try and do, um, these Chaos models. If you see the um, ejector ports of the um, bolt guns and on Abaddon's um, Talon of Horus as well, it has uh, these screaming skulls. <laughs> Absolutely incredible attention to detail. Anyway, this guy, he's got this auto cannon with a big old um, bayonet on there and a bit of a scenic base too with some skulls. Um, he's got uh, these extra magazines um, on his uh, power plant there. He's got a couple of grenades and a bolt pistol and another little eight pointed star on his shoulder pauldron. Absolutely incredible model. Then we go on to the plasma gun, Chaos Space Marine. Pretty awesome. I like the blades there and the skull um, in a decent pose. Another screaming skull there. And uh, again, another um, unique power plant going on. Uh, nice attention to detail, another skull on the side. Um, then let's look at the bolt gun armed um, Chaos Space Marines. But this guy, he's just looking that way with his uh, bolt gun there. I like the lean of the model. He's got his bolt pistol, got some grenades. Again, another unique power plant. Um, decent looking model that. And this guy just stepping forward. Uh, I don't know whether I like his knees that close together. I would have liked his right leg a little bit further to the right, but I like this ho these horns on there. I like how the ammunition is going up in, into the uh, port there. And then he's got some chain link. And again, another unique power plant with uh, some talons um, on the uh, heating vents. And there's also a third um, Chaos Space Marine with a bolt gun. This guy here um, with this big, big uh, sort of sacrificial blade. Um, again, big horns there. 
another different power plant bolt pistol and this bolt gun with this big chain on it and also a, a drum magazine fantastic lots of detail there for him and then let's move on to the bolt pistol and chainsaw um, chaos space marines of which there are four so let's have a look at these guys at the back that's quite an all right pose it looks like he's about to cut um someone down um i like the dagger there again bolt pistol out of the holster without anything in another grenade another different power plant fantastic model and then this guy maybe he's challenging someone but i like the added spikes there and it's a double chain chain sword so he's got the uh, um teeth on the the other side with a bit of a uh handguard different power plant too and again bolt pistol with ammunition being fed in there not even a, a magazine and then the final two this guy is, oh what an awesome weapon it's a chain sword with like a blade on the top as well the orcs would be proud of that um, as a chopper di chopping device bolt pistol with a few few rounds left i like the uh chaos symbol there and he's got his top knot i think <laughs> i don't know lucky charm different power plant fantastic model and then finally this guy who's sort of charging with his left shoulder got one of these uh, chain swords with the teeth on the other side again and a nice pointy blade there this time this guy's got a uh, magazine there and a little tooth and um, different power plant looks similar to the uh, death guard ones with the sort of vents venting system there and he's got some studs very spiky and this big old spiky horn so there you go that is all of the models in depth as you can see you get 10 of them and the rules um, in the book specifically say one aspiring champion and nine chaos space marines which is brilliant what we'll do now is we'll just go through some size comparisons so I'll just zoom out a little bit let me compare them first of all like the aspiring champion and them to the master of possession just to show you how big this master of possession is um, look how big he is look how tall he is huge way way taller than the inspiring champion compared to a normal chaos space marine with a bolt gun almost double almost double the height so one and a half height probably but it just goes to show you how much of a presence this guy will have in your force look um next to one of the possessed um chaos space marines look at this much bigger much wider you can see the demonic um influence uh, especially in the power power plant with quad heat heating vents and obviously their mutations as well um like this big big um claw and the, this huge hand and the rib cage you know very very possessed um models compared to the the normal standard but just space marines on a much bigger scale with a 40 mil uh, terminator base then compared to an obliterator i do have them i've made them let's have a look at them huge compared to them they're not as big as i thought i thought they'd be kind of held brute size but are they sort of terminators that have then gone up a notch you know um they are huge aren't they absolutely huge compared to but they are huge compared to a uh, regular space marine look fantastic and then finally the last um sort of size comparison i want to make is next to the big black widow spider this venom crawler um look at them all milling about him he's so huge um he's taller than the uh master of possession um he's the biggest model in the set um and then milling about protecting him or lashing out would be uh, an excellent um sight to behold so compared to some standard imperium models then we've got a normal space marine this is the size comparison of the century so as you can see they're more or less the same size um maybe people thought that they were going to be primaris space marines um but they're not they are a tiny 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 bit bigger like a smidgen bigger um not in the knees uh but just the the abdomen sort of side of things and um, they're a little bit less as i want to say squashed yes this uh hero is on a standard base but if you look i'm trying to put him almost level and uh on tabletop there's not much in it at all intercessors on the other hand bigger not a huge amount bigger but they are probably almost a head bigger 
um, than the uh, normal Chaos Space Marines. Similar sort of feeling I got with the um, Plague Marines as well in terms of size of the intercessors. So there you go. Hope that size comparison's helped. Hope it's buried a few myths uh, about the size of uh, the normal Chaos Space Marines. Okay, so this is my part of the review where I will go through all of the rules for the Chaos Space Marines. You'll find them in your brand new 8th edition uh, Demon Kin uh, mini codex or your brand new 8th edition codex, um, which should be in your hands in a couple of days on Saturday the 30th of March, all being well and good. So they are a troop choice, of course. They're a power points cost of a nine. They're 13 points per model. You're gonna have to spend 10 points uh, for the auto cannon, the plasma gun, the plasma pistol, and the chain ax, but everything else is free, like the grenades and the bolt pistols and the bolt guns and the chain swords. So the normal Chaos Space Marine Stat line reads, movement of 6 inches, weapon skill 3+, plus, ballistic skill 3+, plus, strength of 4, toughness is 4, wounds 1, 1 wound, 1 attack, leadership 7, and a save of 3+. Plus. That mirrors a standard space marine completely. Exactly the same stat line. The aspiring champion is a movement of 6 inches, weapon skill and ballistic skill both 3+, plus, strength 4, toughness 4, 1 wound, 2 attacks, leadership 8, and a save of 3+. Plus. Again, that mirrors a space marine sergeant. So the unit composition contains one aspiring champion and nine chaos space marines. The aspiring champion is armed with a chain axe, plasma pistol, frag grenades and crack grenades. Four chaos space marines are armed with a chain sword, bolt pistol, frag grenades and crack grenades. Three chaos space marines are armed with a bolt gun, bolt pistol, frag grenades and crack grenades. One chaos space marine is armed with a plasma gun, bolt pistol, frag grenades and crack grenades. And finally one chaos space marine is armed with an auto cannon, bolt pistol, frag grenades and crack grenades. No doubt, if you've already looked at the new um, Chaos Space Marine box set being released on Saturday for £35, which is actually a better deal than the seven um, Plague Marines for 30 you will have seen that uh, that set includes um, a missile launcher or a heavy bolter. So just bear that in mind. So the auto cannon, same weapon as always. It's a range of 48 inches. It's heavy two, strength seven, AP minus one, and a damage of two. The bolt pistol, Standard, it's 12 inch range, pistol 1, strength 4, AP 0 and a damage 1. The bolt gun, again, same as always, 24 inch range, rapid fire 1, strength 4, AP 0 and a damage 1. And then the plasma gun, you can pick uh, two profiles when you fire it. You've got standard, which is 24 inches, rapid fire 1, strength 7, AP minus 3 and damage 1. Or you can choose to supercharge it, same range, 24 inches, rapid fire 1, but this time it gets strength 8, AP minus 3 and a damage of 2. However, on a hit roll of a 1, the bear is slain after all of this weapons attacks have been resolved. Plasma pistol, similar story. Um, you've got standard and supercharge profiles. For the standard, it's a 12 inch, pistol 1, strength 7, AP minus 3, and a damage 1. But for supercharge, it's 12 inch, pistol 1, but it's strength 8, AP minus 3, damage 2. However, on a hit roll of 1, the bearer is slain. So not after all of the attacks have been resolved. You overcharge your plasma pistol, and you get a 1, you're going to die. The chain axe then, it's a melee weapon, it's a strength plus one, so that bumps up to strength five, uh, AP minus one, and damage one. That's not too bad, um, you know, for the aspiring champion to have. The chain sword, again, it's a melee weapon, strength of the user, which would be four, AP zero, and damage one, but each time the bearer fights, it can make one additional attack with this weapon. So four of them are gonna get two attacks each, so that's eight attacks. So they can pump out quite a few attacks in combat. Um, I like that buff there. Frag grenades are just frag grenades, a six inch range, grenade D6, strength three, AP zero, and a damage of one. And crack grenades are six inch, grenade one, strength six, AP minus one, and a damage of D3. Their abilities, death to the false emperor, and the keywords, chaos, mark of chaos, heretic astartes, legion, infantry, and chaos space marines. So there you go, quite a standard, uh, solid um, troop choice. Um, they've got a decent enough save. They've only got one wound, only got one attack in other than the case of um, a few of them there. Uh, the aspiring champion obviously gets his two attacks at strength five because of that chain axe um, and he does have a plasma pistol. So you've got a couple of nasty weapons in there like that plasma pistol, like the plasma gun and like the auto cannon which in my opinion bumps up the firepower from only having three of them armed with bolt guns. These guys um, are very, very flexible. 
but in my opinion because they're mainly armed with close combat weapons and short range weapons I would put them in a Rhino and drive them as, as close as you can, secure an objective and get them out and then they've got a decent amount of firepower to repel you know some attackers not all of them and um, definitely not elites or anything like that that's all i wanted to say about the chaos space marines i think they're absolutely stunning unit stunning kit in this uh, set um, a joy to put together always intrigued me of what i would come up with after i've built them what they look like i'm really looking forward to the individual chaos space marine box set and i can't wait to give you an unboxing and review of that um, i'm a big fan of um, new models and of new chaos models especially for armies and units that haven't had an update for such a long time much like with the death guard really really enjoyed those models what do you guys think of the new models and the rules um, please put it in the comments below it'd be great to hear from you Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Death to the False Emperor.